so sorry to read to you. I promise that I mean it, but it's an odd thing. It's so much easier to memorize words that aren't yours than it is to memorize words that are yours. There's something uh, mind-numbingly scary about this. Um, thank you, Mayim and Carly. Uh, Mayim, you are such a loving, intelligent, and good person. And uh, while Todd and I have shared many friends for many years, you were the first person that we both agreed that we wanted to have here with us. Thank you for doing this. Um, checking my zipper. Um, <laughs> Thank you all for having us here tonight. Um, I'm not gonna say um anymore. When Todd and I were so graciously, uh, when we heard that we were so graciously being given this inspiration award, we were very flattered. Uh, we were also very confused. <laughs> it, it just seems like there are so many people in this world who do really amazing things, who are inspirations to others. Uh, we're surrounded by these people tonight. Glisten's student ambassadors are, to me, some of the most truly inspiring people I've ever had the pleasure to meet. As she mentioned, I presented the Lifetime Achievement Award to Jeffrey and Marilyn Katzenberg here last year with Carly, uh, who's right there. And um, after hearing Carly speak that night, I just, I only wondered how long it would be until I had to call her senator. <laughs> My initial response when asked to name someone who is an inspiration is to look for someone like Carly, who, like the other ambassadors, has decided to step up and take a stand and actively attempt to make a difference in their societies. I look for people who see a problem, an injustice, an inequality, and who know that the only chance to rectify that issue is to get up and speak their minds in front of their peers fully aware that this act puts them in the line of fire. I've been lucky enough to meet Larry Kramer because I've had the incredible good fortune of working on his piece, The Normal Heart. I, mean, I, actually, I was not going to do a promotion, but I, there's so many good people from HBO here, and um, Ryan Murphy is here, and I'm in the midst of working on this with all of them, and Ryan Murphy is doing such a wonderful job on the movie version of The Normal Heart. I'm very excited for all of you to see it. I really wasn't going to do that. It seems so cheap, doesn't it? It cheapens the moment, but I, I, it's, it's such a good thing. And back to my words. Um, it is impossible to work on the normal heart without starting to understand what Larry is all about. Larry Kramer as a human. He has an acute sense of injustice and a refusal to let anything slide by uncommented upon when he sees it as unjust. And while the normal heart covers a period in Larry's life where he spearheaded the struggle to bring attention to the AIDS crisis at a time when the epidemic was largely being shunted aside because it was considered a gay disease, I believe his play continues to resonate with audiences so strongly because it also serves as a parable about all the Larrys and Carlys and student ambassadors in our world. Whatever the particular cause is, all people understand an inspiration when they see it. So when I hold myself up to these types of qualities, these types of people, I feel I pale in comparison. I think that what people like Carly and Larry do is called activism. And I've never considered myself an activist. I have never considered my relationship with Todd to be an act of activism. Rather, it is simply an act of love. Coffee in the morning going to work, washing the clothes, taking the dogs, regular life, boring love. No offense, you know what I mean by that, yes. It's a good place to be, but come on. Now all this said, no one is giving us an award for activism, I realize this. So, if we are indeed an inspiration to others by simply being who we are and living our lives in the way that feels right to us, then we have to thank the same people who help any other couple who continue a successful relationship, our friends and family. We are both surrounded by so many wonderful people who make our lives better and easier. Friends we've had for many years, and friends we've made since living in LA, like the whole cast and crew of The Big Bang Theory. And we receive so much love and support from each of our families, mine in Houston, and Todd's, whose parents are actually with us tonight. Um, I can barely see up here, but thank you, there they are. <laughs> thank
Thank you, Ellie and Lou, for being such an important part of our lives and our dogs' lives. <laughs> and now I should let Todd speak sometime. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, as always, Jim didn't leave much for me to say. <laughs> but I just wanted to give a few extra thanks. Again, to Eliza and everyone at Glisten for this great honor and all your hard work. To, my, to Mayum, <laughs> Mayum, thanks again for being here with us tonight. We also wanted to thank Jeffrey and Marilyn Katzenberg and Chip Sullivan for inviting us to this event last year. For without your invitation, we wouldn't know about this organization and the great work Glisten is doing across the country. And lastly, to my most supportive parents for making the trip out from Philadelphia to be here tonight. Thank you.